would like to ask you something, Richard. Oh, give me a moment. I'm listening. There is a symbol of a very unique cross-like shape in the chapel. Would you happen to know anything about it? Oh, I think I know what you mean. It's an old symbol of the nobleman of the manor. It's strange, though. I've never noticed it there myself. Eleanor has got the only remaining one in her jewelry box. I'd like to see it. Where exactly is that box? She tends to keep it nearby. It's probably somewhere in the main hall. The mansion will be closed for the night. Take my key from the table over there. Thanks. I'll leave you to your work then.
the bottom part looks exactly like the opening in the grate of the underground tomb. This must be Durgan's tomb. Use a stranger's head, or your own will shed. The pattern of steam makes it impossible to estimate the distance to the bottom. The floor may have collapsed deeply. I'd better hold back. been chiseled from stone. This one has a crack on it. It looks a bit different than the other ones. It can't have fallen any worse. I probably ran out of luck in the mines yesterday. Damn, it's too far. I can't reach it. Maybe I'll reach it now. That sound! What was that? Dagen Gordon. I did not have any reason to extend my stay in Wales.
The next morning, I said goodbye to Eleanor and returned to Black Mirror. Samuel, you have returned sooner than I expected. How are things in Wales? Is Eleanor well? Yes, she's quite well. I gave her your letter. Thank you, Samuel. I can hear uncertainty in your voice. Has something gone wrong? I'm afraid it has, my dear. Bates, you tell Samuel. I do not want to speak about it myself. Yes, madam. First... About Sir Robert. He went away the night you left for Wales, sir. Just before he left, he told me he had to go to Ashbury on an urgent matter. I know. I spoke with him about it. Did something happen in the sanatorium? Unfortunately, sir, I do not know. Sir Robert did not return home that night. In fact, we have had no news of him since then. Maybe he had to stay there. He told me he had a lot of work. That is what we thought, too. But the head nurse told us he left the gates of Ashbury just before midnight. Hmm. That's strange indeed. He would often stay at the sanatorium for several days in a row, but he would always let us know. We do not know what could have happened. Bates, do not speak like this. I'm sorry, madam. I did not mean it that way. We'll wait until this evening and then call the sanatorium. Maybe Robert will have returned by then. Bates, you started to say, first, about Sir Robert. Is there anything I should know? Yes, sir. I just don't know if I can speak about it in front of Madam. Oh, go ahead, Bates. The thought is inevitable anyway. All right, then. Detective Collier showed up this morning. I thought he had come because of Henry's drowning. But I was mistaken. Someone from the village found a body of a boy in the woods. Collier came here to inform us only. This time he spared us his questions. A body of a boy? What happened to him? Detective Collier suggested that the boy had been killed by the wolves. Did he mention the place where it happened? No, I did not want to ask him about anything. Oh, I understand. Too much evil has come to us within the last two days. Do not know what is going on, Samuel. Now please excuse me. I do not want to talk about this any longer. Yes, I understand. I'll probably go to my room. I lit up your fireplace already this morning, sir. It's very cold today. Robert said something about a runaway patient before he left. Robert. And that boy. Indeed, some very strange things have been happening around here lately. 